Hi everyone, Arjun on page today and I'm gonna do some of my experimenting and I'm gonna I'm going to make this page this is just something from the cheap store it's a basically a sketch notebook but I find that uh, the quality of the paper is quite good for what I have in mind so I'm always buying it and sketch pads are just cheaper than buying anything uh, else that is mixed media related so I'm going to start by putting down just a page out of the newspaper now this is the the cheapest uh, kind of uh, paper there is and accessible so I wanted to try and use it as base now I because uh, this is a newspaper just to be on the safe side I've sealed it I was uh, worried that uh, the ink will smear and I will have a gray mess now you can use a you can use the cheapest hair hairspray that you can find you can use this clear spray I, I buy it in the cheap store in the hardware aisle and <clears throat> that's the cheapest way I know to seal uh, uh, things so I'm going to start by gluing this I'm using white glue and I'm gonna try and be quick about it because this is not the important stuff of making this original page so just putting down glue there we go moving on I'll trim the excess later right now just laying it this I can also just to speed things I can fold it right now so I can continue because part of my experiment is that I want to cover all of this the horror Uri pink paint pink acrylic paint yes I know uh, it's not my color but I want to try something and well whatever goes <laughs> so I'm going to put this here now this is from the cheap store and I found out that this particular one is not great as you can see pigment is not great uh, but for my experiment for what I'm trying to do this is great because it's translucent and that's what I was aiming for so I'm trying to start with this and I will try and go over with other stuff and we'll see what happens so as I said kind of an experiment and sometimes the things that from the cheap store that don't work as, as they are supposed to be are you can use it to your advantage so <laughs> here we go here is the beginning of my page with pink so I'm gonna let this dry completely before I continue and then I'll come back I'm back so this is dry and now I'm going to build some my page around my focal image and I, I wanted my focal image to be this stamp and first I'm going to put this stamp here and where is my acrylic block here it is let's take this out and I'm using Momento Tuxedo Black let's move it a little bit so first I'm going to place my focal image and then I'm going to stamp all around it and build interest and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's see. I think I'll place it here and I'm putting pressure and I'm leaving it 
for a few seconds just to make sure I have a fine print most of the time I don't care this time I do <laughs> so here is my focal image and now I want to just I just picked all kinds of a uh, of stamps that I like Severals like this that I like to put in the background. So, this is going to be quite random. Let's do butterflies. We can't have it without butterflies. So again, taking a butterfly. And changing for another one, just for the interest. It really doesn't matter uh, use whatever stamps you have whatever stamps you like and I have here this this is getting in my way never mind and just another one here And moving along, let's do some more circles. I've got this one from Stamperia that I love. Some kind of nautical uh, theme, I don't know. I'm overlapping again. This is for interest in building a slavering stamps. I've I talked about it before and made videos. It really doesn't matter. I've moved it from the acrylic block so I can do here. Yeah. And maybe some numbers this one looks like a ledger and i know that right now it kind of looks a uh, messy but i'm hoping to pull it off at the end Okay, so finished with the stamping. I think I've got enough interest here and now I want to move along to stenciling and I found something just, I don't know, to me it seems great. I hope it will work. Found this in the cheap store and I've got several stencils here. I just need to move it like this and i think it's great <laughs> so i just had to try it of course now for the stenciling i'm going to use gesso because i want some sprays on top and i'm hoping if, uh, again another technique that i've shown you in the past that i will have some it's not not really a resist it just when I, s I will spray it, then the areas with the gesso will have another tone of the paint. So I've got a little bit of paint uh, of gesso here, and I've got a makeup sponge. Well, let's try. <laughs> There's ne never enough space. So putting this here, 
and taking a little bit of gesso It's even, I like it even like this, <laughs> but uh, okay, I'm going to continue and uh, let's see, uh, do I want another one like this, let's change just for the fun of it, and I'm taking, I'm doing this one. The only thing that I think maybe uh, will be not so good about this uh, kind of stencil is the cleaning, but we'll see. Okay, what else do I have here that can be interesting? Mm, yeah, definitely. So... Let's do more leaves here. I'm not sure where to put them. <laughs> it wasn't planned. I only knew that I wanted to try and use the pink as base and see if I can build on it. Yeah. So... What else? <laughs> I think I will go around the page and do this. And we'll see. So I'm going to uh, put some more of uh, this uh, stencil all around and when it's uh, finished and dry I will come back. I'm back. So this is dry and I want to use spray around but I want my focal image to stay with the pink. So what I need to do is create a mask for this area. What I'm going to do uh, to make a mask is I'm taking the same stamp and stamping it on this piece of paper like so. And now I can either tear or, uh, or use scissors to go around and create my mask. And I think I will just use some scissors and I don't want a straight shape yeah Something like that, maybe a little less here. Yeah. Now I'm putting it approximately in place here and let's see. I've got my uh, homemade sprays, these are made from gel food coloring and water few drops with a 
of gel food coloring with water the more uh, gel food coloring the more intense the color will be and let's place some towel underneath before I make a mess of all this area and here I think I will put just a little bit of a glue stick in the back just so it won't move like this maybe a little bit more or I can just place something here and so it won't move never mind so now for the experiment that I hope will work and I'm just going to start spraying and I've got blues, I've got purples, I got green I'm also trying for the colors to mix so I got puddles in several places that I think I'll just take the paper towel and very gently remove excess that I don't like I'm thinking this needs to uh, dry before I can see if I need more <laughs> color on the page. I like uh, how I now the pink is more uh, muted in the back and I hope it will work. So I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back. I'm back. So that's my page now the i've uh, dried it and all the spray just blended in together and nicely but i didn't like it uh, 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 not quite so what i've done is i took the sprays and i wanted a little bit more control so i sprayed a little bit uh, on the side here like so and I've taken a paintbrush and where I wanted to add a little bit more, uh, I don't know, highlights or more color and less blended, <laughs> then that's what I'm doing. And all this can be done with anything that is uh, water reactive. You can use watercolors, you can use gelatos. I just uh, picked up. Uh, the sprays and went to town with them so again it can be uh, blended it can be more controlled whatever you like so here is uh, my page and I just wanted to add uh, the words uh, where is it <laughs> I'm messy as usual so I'm 
and taking this I have a stamp that came with this set that says uh, uh, eyes of the soul and that's what I'm going to stamp but I'm thinking uh, it won't be shown maybe I can maybe I can add a little bit of the pink so I can step stamp on, on top of it because it won't be seen yeah now I can probably f uh, fit it in just little bit and quick So again, Momento uh, Tuxedo Black and stamping, let's hope it's dry underneath, yeah, worked. So this is it, that's my page, <laughs> I thought maybe I will uh, add something else but I really like how it is. I'm leaving it be and that's it I hope you liked it I hope you will experiment and if you've got any kind of acrylics that the pigment is not so good then experiment with this a uh, kind of a uh, transparency and thank you thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now